The pen tool is one of those things that a lot of design software has, and Affinity here is no exception. And you can find this over in the toolbar. The keyboard shortcut for this is P on the keyboard. And what we can do is we can just click, click, click. And effectively, we can draw a custom shape made up of straight lines, kind of like a dot to dot. Now, to make this function a bit more similarly to something like Illustrator's pen tool, let's go up to the cog. As you can see, lots of different options, but I'm going to enable rubber band mode. And what this does is I can now see what I'm going to be drawing. Now you can see this in action even more if I were to click and then instead of clicking again, I'm going to click and hold to draw a curve. And you can hold shift as well if you'd like to snap to a horizontal or vertical or diagonal axis. And you can see now with rubber band mode, it shows me where that next point is going to be and what the curve is going to look like. So we'll click again. And this does function very similar to something like Illustrator or Photoshop because you can click, click, click with straight lines. You can then click and drag. But if you don't want to follow this up with a curve, what you can do is just click on that last point and it cuts it short and then you can follow it up with a straight line. So a really good exercise to get used to the pen tool is to practice just switching between straight lines, do a few curves, switch back, whoops, missed it there, to straight lines, back to curves, back to straight, just so you get used to it. Now, we're gonna put it to the test with a heart. Now, Affinity does have a heart tool, but I find this to be a really good exercise when using the pen tool. So what we're gonna do is click and drag, and we're gonna hold shift to snap this to a 45 degree angle. And it sort of shoots off up in this direction. And we're gonna come around, where are we gonna go? Maybe here. And we're gonna click and drag out the left side of the heart. You can hold shift as well if you want to. Now I'm still holding shift in the mouse down, but what we can do is hold down alt or option and we can actually redirect where the next line is gonna go. So let's line up those two anchor points at the top. And then when I let go, you can see it's now shooting off in this up and to the right direction. And I can then bring this down here. Now I'm gonna hold down alt or option and click. And again, it's kind of freehanding it until I hold down shift as well. And there we go. We can try and line up those points. Now, of course, this is a terrible heart. It does function slightly differently in Affinity to Illustrator. But once you've got the pieces in place, actually pulling them out and fine tuning everything is pretty straightforward. So we're just trying to make everything super symmetrical. So yeah, if I were actually doing a heart in Affinity, I'm probably gonna use the heart tool, but this is a really good exercise to practice just getting familiar with how the pen tool behaves.